It looks like something's under there that's so weird. Things are getting out of hand. This is just a disaster. Hi guys, Dr. Squish here. I am going to be cutting open squishy toys on my show today. I've got some very, very cute Papa Squishified squishies back there and some other really interesting things. So I'm gonna get started with one of those first. Look at this ice cream cone. Oh my goodness. If you just saw this like sitting in a shop window, this looks like a real soft serve ice cream cone. I have a, some mixed feelings about this. Number one, it is a foam squishy. Uh, you know I don't cut up too many foam squishies on my show, but I've had Papa Squish start making them a little more interesting for me. He took this one and did something to it. It's not really slow rising. It's just a foam squishy and it kind of it kind of smells like my my pancake one that I had with the butter on it but here's the deal it's got like a, a ball chain on it but look at this paper it's very uh, squishy down here too but don't you guys think this paper would get to looking like all I mean it already looks not so great just from me squishing on it so I think it would the paper would eventually just kind of tear off and look gross but the ice cream part looks amazing it's so adorable with this little strawberry syrup dripping down there are you guys ready to see what's in here snip snip all right squishy number one it's just foam like I said all right, well it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Come on, Papa Squish, I asked you to make it more interesting. That's so boring. There's nothing in it, I'm so disappointed. <gasps> there is something in it. I see it. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. What is in here? Oh, look you guys. That's so cute. Papa Squish, he's so clever, he put like a little Hello Kitty ice cream cone in my ice cream cone. It's Hello Kitty ice cream inception. She's adorable. Well, that was super cute. Let me see if I can get this whole thing out of there. Oh, that was not the only thing in there. Hmm, Papa Squish, you are so cool. Oh, it's my Melody. Oh, look at these guys. It's an ice cream cone, so super cute and adorable. Little Sammy, oh, such an ice cream cone. Aw. That was super cool. Oh. Aha! It does come out of there. And look, there is like foam down there. I'm gonna cut this all the way up. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just like foam all the way down into the wrapper. But I feel like it would have been so much cuter if there had been like a little waffle cone <gasps> or something. Because it was just regular little foam down there. So it made the wrapper squishy, but that wrapper was just kind of cheesy in my opinion. It's not really slow rising, it's just foam, that's all. It was really adorable though. Good effort, foam squishy people, good effort. Okay, next up, I wanna do this one because I love these things. These are some of my favorite types of squishies. Before squishies became super popular, I loved finding these squishies. I think this one is supposed to be a little apple. I have another tomato back there, but this one is an adorable little apple, and it's got a squishy part that comes squeezing. Oh, it's popping. What the world? I didn't know what that was. I was like, is something wrong with my camera? Oh, that's weird. I wonder why it's doing that. I don't really know, but anyhow, this is so cool. This part is always kind of sticky, sticky, sticky. I feel like this would get dirty. I've never had one of these on my own purse, but I feel like that little part coming at you right there, I feel like that would get all sticky and dirty and hairy hanging from your backpack or something. And plus, I don't know what part of an apple that is supposed to be. If you bit it off, it doesn't look like that inside. So I already know how these work. I have done this before. I've cut these open and you can just pull this little stretchy bit right on out of there. If you pull hard enough, it's supposed to come out of there. Come on, you little, th oh, I ruined it. Eh, that's what it's supposed to look like. Ew, almost out. Woo! Ooh, there it came. This is actually super cool. It's like getting one of those sticky rubber squishies. And now you have the apple. I feel like this would suck up slime. Like the slime puking Gudetama. And this was the squishy part. Oh, it's so sticky sticky. That's what it should've been called in the first place. Super sticky apple squishy. These things are just like this soft resin stuff. They look literally like gummy bears inside when you cut them open. They're so shiny and beautiful. I just wanna eat some apple. 
apple gummies in my face. It's delicious looking. I wish I could keep this. It's just so sticky though. I don't I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, oh <laughs> Good night, Tom. It's a bullseye. Yay, Dr. Squish. Okay, I'm getting silly in here. Next up is a splat ball. I guess that was kind of like a splat ball. But this one is a literal splat ball. It is a water squishy. Look at all those water bubbles. I think this is supposed to be an eggplant, but I have never seen a round eggplant in my life. It's just like a purple vegetable water squishy splat ball stress ball super cool squishy ball. I'm kind of worried about this one because look when you squish it it's gross looking stuff in that water like usually it's just clear water that comes out of there and I never know what it is but this has got some weird looking like I don't know. Who's ready for a little bit of eggplant splat? Are you guys ready? In three, two, one. Oh yeah. Let's see what the hammer's gonna do to this eggplant. Are you guys ready for a little bit of eggplant splat in three, two, one? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, one more. <laughs> oh yeah. I have definitely gotta get my bowl for this one. I will get a different pair of scissors because this water looks pretty gross. I am going to try my best not to get it on me. Every single time I cut up in a water squishy, it comes squirting out all over me even though I do it over the bowl. I'm gonna do it down as low as possible. Let's try to keep Dr. Squish from getting gross water on her in three, two, one. Nothing. Whoa! <laughs> it actually scared me. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That actually kind of scared me. Ew, and I still got it on me anyway. Sometimes I squirt myself in the eyeballs. Okay, let me cut this old, I love this. I wish I could have given this one to Papa Squish. Ooh, maybe I could find it. Ew, there's like a weird thing in there. Maybe I could find another one to give Papa Squish and he could put something cool in there. What could he put inside the eggplant, you guys? What would be a good suggestion to go in there? That water is just super duper dirty looking. Is that just me? I mean, I don't see gross stuff floating in there like it looked like in the eggplant, but it looks pretty dirty. Ew, yucky eggplant water. All right, moving along, you guys. Here is Mr. Dinosaur. Did you guys watch my um, squishy claw machine haul I did recently where I won like a croissant sandwich? Uh, I also won Mr. Dinosaur. I didn't have video of myself winning him, but that's where I got him from was out of a claw machine. So I won Mr. Dinosaur out of the claw machine. He was in there with his dinosaur pals and I am excited to see what's in him. He is definitely squishy, but he's got something inside. Like beans or something in there. Mr. Dinosaur, did you eat some beans? Don't you know what happens when you eat beans? What happens, guys? Tell them what happens. It's the musical fruit. It sure is. Oh my goodness. But we are going to open up Mr. Dinosaur and see what's making him sound so squishy squashy. It sounds to me like it feels like rocks in here. You guys hear it? I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't mean to eat so many beans. That's okay, Mr. Dinosaur. We're gonna do you up right over this stinky water. Here we go. Oh, I did it. All right, now I can cut right down his middle and we can see what's in there. Three, two, one. We are getting in to Mr. Dinosaur. Just a little squishy surgery. Ooh, I was close. It's not rocks, it's foam beads. Oh, Mr. Dinosaur, no wonder you are so noisy. Guys, these beans, beads, beads. Maybe these beads are the musical fruit of the squishy family. Oh, gross. These things go all over the place. They feel kind of cool. I'm never going to get these out of my room now. Oh, my goodness, Mr. Dinosaur. Just for that, I'm turning you inside out. They need to invent, like, a squishy vacuum. Oh, <laughs> squishy beads coming out of his tail. <laughs> That's so weird. Now he looks like a Thanksgiving turkey. Aw, Mr. Dinosaur. Now we know what happened to the dinosaurs. They all turned into turkeys. It is inside out dinosaurs, who knew? You guys, that is super crazy looking. Look, it looks like something's under there. That's so weird. Oh my goodness. It's just that yucky water and those beads, but ooh, it looks cool. 
Ew, that was kind of a mistake. All right, you guys, I have got a tomato. I have actually caught up more than one tomato on my squishy cutting shows. I know I cut up a splat tomato, and I know I cut up a squeezed tomato, but this one is totally different than either one of those. Ooh, look at that pretty pink color it turns when you squash it. This one is really soft. It's not full of water, I can tell. It's not sloshy. This one is very soft and stretchy and squishy, and it is super fun. I wish that I had like 10 of these. These are super fun, and this color of this thing is beautiful. And that's a beautiful tomato right there. I am going to get to cutting it up and we're gonna see what makes this beautiful tomato <gasps> so soft and squishy. Squish, squish, squish. Here we go, you guys. Let's see what's inside Mr. Tomato. Here we go. Oh me, it is this stuff. I have seen this stuff on my show before, you guys. Oh, this one's a little bit different. Holy cow. Before, usually it just kind of like squeezes out and it plops in the bowl or something. I'm actually able to take this out and play with it. Holy smokes, what is this? That's crazy. It looks exactly like I have a big handful of mashed potatoes. <laughs> like this looks, and honestly, it feels like mashed potatoes. It's kind of making me a little hungry. So it's not like the cloud dough I get sometimes. It's a lot, lot uh wetter i guess like it's got a lot more water in it but it's really soft it really is like playing with some light and fluffy mashed potatoes mm. <laughs> that's so gross i'm so sorry things are getting out of hand oh i should have just put it in my bowl from the start now i'm just making a huge mess because i can't help myself i just want to squeeze it oh gosh <laughs> Okay, I apologize. Into the bowl it goes. That stuff makes for a very squishy squishies. Some of the squishiest squishies I have had on my show had that very same mashed potato-y type thing inside. Okay, I've got one last squishy. Here is one of Papa Squish's squishified squishies that he has made me. This little guy is so Interesting, I don't know what he's supposed to be. His adorable little ears lead me to believe he's like a little stuffed bear or fox or something, but he's just a ball with like flappy duck feet. I don't know what he's supposed to be. A little blue monster, I suppose, but he is a super duper squishy squashy. Look at that, you guys. Papa Squish makes me the coolest homemade squishies ever. He's so squeezy. He is much squishier than any of the other squishies on my table today. And he's super stretchy. Here we go. I am going to get Mr. Blue Duck Bear Fox situated so I can just cut off his cute little blue face. Here we go, you guys. Let's see what Papa Squish has got for me in here. Whoa, <laughs> that's so much ooze. Oh, guys, well, sometimes it is slime, sometimes it is goo, sometimes it is pork and beans. Papa Squish always has some very interesting stuff inside his homemade squishies. That is for sure. Well, it's just going everywhere all over the table. This is definitely like goop. This isn't slime. I mean, it's very slimy. Ugh. And it's full of Orbeez. That was just, no wonder he was super squishy and stretchy. There's Orbeez going everywhere. That stuff is super fun to play with, you guys. Orbeez and goo. They should like sell this in a container, except that it's very hard to contain. Orbeez and goo make for a very squishy squishy. It's kind of jiggly and disturbing. All right, who wants me to put it in the bowl with everything else and just mix it all up? You guys always ask me to do that, so that is what I'm going to do. If I can get it in here, how do I even pick up? How do you pick up a pile of goo? Ugh, <laughs> this is a disaster. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on, Dr. Squish. I just threw those beads from the dinosaur everywhere. Okay, here's my disgusting bowl full of everything that I got today. I don't know what is gonna happen when I mix this goop. Oh, you guys, this is terrible. Oh, it does not feel good. This is like the stuff of nightmares. Ugh, it feels like something you would put your hand into in a haunted house. Ooh, this is really awful. 
No. Super duper slippery and super duper oozy. And it's really, really snotty feeling. Ugh. All right. I don't know what else to say about today's show, but this is really messy at the end here. Everybody give me a big old goopy a thumbs up for this video. Tell me what you want to see me do next on Dr. Squish or give me some ideas that I can pass along to Papa Squish and go ahead and tap on my logo right over there and that way you'll never miss a squishy video right when it comes out. You can tap right over here on the left to see a video you may have never seen before and I will see you on my next show. Bye bye squishy fans. Whoa!